Go! Here we go! Get faster! Goal number one, it'll be Virginia come true. No one ever gave me a shot. Whoever takes me, getting the best corner in the draft. Running a fast 40 time at the Combine can make you an overnight celebrity. For Kevin White, he's getting his first taste of the good life. It's beautiful, right? Oh, the trees. I got to get the trees. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, check it out. Out here, living Cali life. <laughs> For the Snapchat, you know. Come on, driver, give him something, baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Mayweather definitely followed me. Did he really? Did he Big Floyd, Floyd Mayweather fan. Floyd over Pacquiao easily. Come on, easy, man. I told y'all this. Love Floyd, but I don't think it's going to be easy. 435, what it means to me is uh, everything, basically. You know, that's my favorite number now. It, it definitely changed how people, you know, look at me. So um, 435 is, that's, that's my number. Welcome to my crib. The King Mansion. There's only two of these, by the way, in this hotel. So I, I feel good. Dining room table. Got the layout couch. The beautiful view. My boy BP, Brendan Parker. There's two bathrooms in here. Check this out. All this stuff. Clean you real nice. So uh, let me close this thing. We love this. We got another room downstairs. So this is the big time bathroom right here. Big shower. Again, all you gotta do is uh, that thing come on. So when we, we enjoying ourselves. All this basically came from, you know, running a fast 40, basically. We just got my call yesterday to the draft, my official uh, invite. So I haven't even told my mom. So I'm gonna try to get it right now. The NFL usually only invites around 20 athletes to attend the actual ceremony. Three days ago, Kevin was on the outside looking in. But now, the NFL wants him front and center. Hello. Hey, what's up, Ma? I wanted to call y'all and talk to y'all because I got my official invite to the draft last night. Congratulations. I didn't look and I just watched it on TV. Are oh, you watching on TV? Yeah. <laughs> Grandma, you coming to the draft, right? Green room? Uh, you, you, you gonna be with us? I ain't been on a plane in years. Well, hey. You, you gonna you gonna get back on one now? Okay. All right, love you. All right. Uh, it's a dream come true for for all of us. So uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I would want to find a good fit. That's probably the best thing that I'm I would need uh, in my future. Leonard Williams is a projected top five pick. Checking my class clearance. That's what helps me get through these long interviews. And with his pro day already out of the way, it means it's his time in the spotlight to face an all-out media blitz. So what's up to this? You're going to go out and do America's pregame, their day show. You're going to tape it. And then um, they're going to have a snap for you. And then we're going to go back out and do uh, Fox Sports Live. All right. And then you're done. I mean, it's only you're only here for really, like. I wish I could just play football. Oh, my god. <laughs> You do just play football. No. You got to try to turn me into an actor and stuff. No. <laughs> like I said, I want people to get, get to know you and see how great you are. Long days on set means little time for breaks. Meals can be hard to come by. And for Leonard, he's got to eat whenever he can. At 300 pounds, Leo needs a lot of fuel. Yeah, we're I don't know, Andrea. We're trying to figure that out right now. Jack and Jill's too, so we can get queso like I wanted the first time. One thing about media day is that, you know, it's so busy bouncing around from interview to interview that, you know, I would never really have time to eat. So the worst part is just trying to maintain weight when I'm not being able to eat as, as often as I should. So they were out of queso, but I got you some juice. It's like some real juice. Is it? Is yeah. it good? You want to taste it? Yeah, you want to taste mine? It's actually good. You probably should be drinking the one I'm drinking. No. I think we both could be on the diet. At all times. No? Today is a light day for Leo. He's only got five hours of interviews. Then 
he can call it quits. If you decide to write an auto autobiography, what would you title it and why? What I actually do like about Media Days is that, you know, it gets you out there as a brand and, you know, lets the fans see who you are as a person. I would title it Big Cat because, um, you know, that's kind of been my nickname at SC for a while now. And, uh, you know, I think, it, I think it came because of my hair. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say I resemble a lion. <laughs> as much as I don't like doing interviews, like, all the time, I know it, like, helps out the fans, uh, you know, really see who I am. So we're done? Wow. Why was that so less painful than I thought? I told you! Marcus Peters is a wanted man. He's got 15 team visits booked over the next five weeks, meaning nearly half the league is looking at him. 19th, 20th, mm -hmm. 24th, right to Baltimore. And then you go to Minnesota, the Saints, actually Buffalo to Chicago. They just called today. They called, I met with, the, with uh, they, one of the scouts yesterday. Yeah, and then the Saints. Mm -hmm. Then you come back, you got the Raiders mm -hmm. and Falcons same day. Crazy. All good though, bro. All good. It's a process that you have to go through. You know, with me, I have a lot of teams that, that has, has interest in me. So you take me, you take me. When you get the best one corner in draft, if you don't, you just miss out. Look, the bottom line, bro, everybody is digging in terms of your interviews you have and your meetings. Mm -hmm. This now is gonna be reinforcement of your meetings at the combine. You gotta kill these things. I go see these teams and these organizations. I get to go step foot in, the, in their comfort zone and I get to prove that I can come in there and add nothing but comfort. You're locked down, shut down, number one corner. So all we had to do now is you go in there, you, you just, you don't nervous, you're just kind of showing them who you are again, what you're all about. You own up to what you did wrong. Like you said, you've learned from that. You're the first to admit, I'm proud of you. First to admit that, look man, you screwed up, did some things wrong. Mm -hmm. First thing you told me, Doug, I up. I screwed up. But you learn from that and you become better for that. Yeah. You're a better father, you're a better son, you're gonna be a better teammate, all those different things. That's real, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, this next month is very important. I'm ready to rock. Pro day, to me, that's the final goal, the final foot. Yeah, I stepped down. All the visits is easy, man. Eh? Let's knock this out. All good, man. Yeah. Kill it. They stopped exchanging numbers with everybody. Why? Because you're not gonna want, trust me, you're not going to want all these people that you meet to like be randomly 